Okay, so we're gonna try ourselves some fire sentinels. Um, I believe crush might be best because uh, this flail's best status crush. So just gonna go with some inquisitor setup. But yeah, we're just gonna kill these a bit and see if we can get this blood fairy shark. Cause I really want to test it out at corp when I can get one of those. Oh my god, dude, we got it! Oh my god, dude, we just got the blood shard. Yo, holy shit! <laughs> How many kills, guys? Let me uh, let me ha have a look here. Oh my goodness, dude, 100 kills. Only 100 kills. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy shit. Nice. Looks like I get to use it earlier than I thought. Oh my god. Amulet Fury will consume your blood shard to make the uh, amulet of blood fury, and you won't be able to get it back. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it, man. Yes, combine the blood shard with the amulet fury. Hey, nice. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's got like a glow, you know? It's got a glow to it. Uh, basically, it's like the part. Uh, it's basically like torture, except it's really red. <laughs> And it glows the same, but I think I can add this, right? I can add it back. What? Are you kidding me, bro? No, they said they were gonna make it work. Jax. So the Blood Fury stat-wise is the same as a regular fairy. What separates it, though, from the regular fairy is the special ability. In essence, the special ability gives you a chance to heal back some of the damage that you do to an opponent to your life points. Only melee damage though. Range and magic damage will not work at the moment. Perhaps they might change that in the future, who knows. So here's how the ability works. You have a 10% chance to activate the ability. And once it's activated, whatever you end up hitting, 10% of that damage will go back to you for HP. So if you hit a 40 and a prox, you'll recover a 4 HP back. So the Blood Fairy has 10,000 charges once you've worn it and you've hit 10,000 times with a melee weapon. It will deplete and you will get a regular Fairy back and the Blood Shard will disappear. Second kill with Blood Fairy at Suicide Core Method and I only used one inventory food this kill. So that's really good. I usually use uh, at least 50% more than that per kill. So very good sign. So in this prior video, I'm going to be covering a ton on the method that I'm doing here, which is the Suicide Corp method, and also going to be expanding on how the Blood Fairy is interacting with said method. But before I go into detail, I'm going to quickly give you guys a overall summary. So I ended up getting 112 Corp kills with the Blood Fairy before the shark completely broke down and ran out of charges. So the Blood Fairy is a really good addition to this setup because originally I used the Fury anyways because the magic defense is super super important but now I also get that healing factor. Some kills I can get like 40 HP back and those kills make such a great impact on my kills per hour. I'm easily able to get 8 kills an hour like almost guaranteed every time because of the Blood Fairy's extra healing insurance. So definitely worth using however it is not worth getting. Because the Blood Fairy from my testing at Corp, I was only able to use it for about 16 to 17 hours. And the drop rate for this thing is like 1 in 1500 fires. It's probably going to take like 10 hours to get a shard on average or something like that. So it's just unfortunately not worth getting. So unless Jagex decides to uh, make it last longer, maybe only use up a charge when you actually heal. Or allow you to refill it with something like uh, Vials of Blood or something like that. So I would say in general, it's not worth for an Iron Man to go and get it. And also on a main, it's probably not worth to go and buy it just because it doesn't last long enough. You know what I mean? Like 10 to 20 hours of use and it's gone. So I am looking forward to see what they can do with the Blood Fury in the future in terms of buffs because it has a lot of potential. So I would be definitely very excited to uh, try out the Blood Fury again in the distant future when it does get a buff. But until then, I'm definitely not going to get another one. So this is my first time using the Inquisitor Helmet and the playscript that I got from Nightmare for uh, the Corp. So I'm getting about 20 extra crush accuracy on top of everything else I have and I am at 190 crush accuracy. So I'm landing the specs at Corp so much more noticeably often. It's amazing man. I wish I had the plate though for that extra 200 plus crush accuracy. Oh damn what was that? I hit I hard as hell with the heli into the heal. Oh my god, what the hell? I just healed with the Halley. Oh, 
Yo, that was crazy. Bro, back to back C Halley heals. Oh my god, that was amazing, dude. Nice. First good drop from Corp. Good old fashioned cannonballs. Now to feed it back straight into Corp. Alright, I just cooked all of my anglerfish that I have left now. So all this was from like over a year ago when I was AFKing this 299. But yeah, that's crazy. I used to have like 10k. But 2.5k will, will last me a long time. Just stocking up on food for like Corp and whatnot, you know? Hey, Onyx Bolts. Oh, Onyx Bolts again. Oh my god. Hell yeah, man. Getting so many good drops. Oh, baby! That was so fucking good! I hit a 50-50 and I healed with the Blood Fury. Oh, shit. I just take 8 that shit. Oof. Oh, Onyx Bolts. Cosmic Runes. Okay, one more kill. And my fury is gonna run out. Holy shit, guys, this is crazy. This is it, man. 75 uh, hits left, and this uh, blood fury is completely depleted. <laughs> nice. And of course, the final kill. Perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, uh, as you guys can see here, I have done 121 corp kills uh, with the blood shard. I'd say probably about 17 hours, you know, right in the middle. So yeah, that's uh, that's how long it currently lasts. It's definitely too short though, you know, definitely too short. If I was using that shit on a Slayer, I burned through it by like 10 hours or something. But yeah, uh, safe to say I'm not going to get any more uh, blood shards unless they buff it, you know, make it like last longer or something. But yeah, as for now, I'm done with Corp, you know, we're, we're pretty much wrapped up with Corp for now. But it was, it was fun though, it was fun to figure it out, you know, and test it out and whatnot. I am going to be explaining the method that I do for Corp, which is a branch of the Suicide Corp method. But before I do that, let me give you a quick overview. So there are two main methods to doing Corporal Beast on an Iron Man. The most popular method is something called the Spec Down method, or I would usually call it back in the day, the Ultimate Iron Man method. And that method involves specking down the boss's stats, uh, magic, melee stats, you name it, to zero. Using the art light, the warhammer, and the bandos god sword. You can get like four and a half kills an hour using that method. But the method that I do is called the suicide method. That's the original method that Iron Man, regular Iron Man, used to do until the other method got really, really popular. But this method is a lot harder, but it is very rewarding if you put in the time and practice to getting it down. Because with this method, you can get up to 8 kills an hour. Of course, it's going to vary with your gear and also your experience level. But yeah, this method, you only spec down the boss's defense to zero. And it's a lot quicker to do that because uh, you don't have to worry about lowering you know, its strength level, its attack level, its magic level to zero. So instead of spending like 8 minutes to spec down the boss to complete zero, you only spend about, give or take, one or two minutes to lower its defense to zero. And even if you factor in uh, Karenborn fishing and stuff like that, or Karenborn buying cooking, you're still averaging, you know, like seven kills an hour. I will now explain my version of the Suicide Court method. So there's two parts. The first part is the preparation part where I spec down the boss and dump my food. And the second part is where I just go and set up and kill the boss. So for the preparation part, I have a few tabs set up for my special attacks. So I have one tab for my Dragon Warhammer setup because that's what I need to do first is to use the Warhammer on the Corp and land a spec uh, around four times. And then once I finish that part, I go back to the bank and then I grab out my Art Light tab. And for the Art Light, I want to land it around five times. And by doing so, I will lower the boss's defense to zero. That's all I do for reducing the corpse stats. So after that, I go to the bank and grab an inventory of Karen Bonds. I will go back to corp and I will go to a very specific spot that you will see in the video where I will let myself die and my food will be dropped and it'll stay there for an hour. And that spot is really important. I'll explain why later. Uh, to quicken up my suiciding process, I brought myself in Locator Ore from Translator 2, so that way I can die even quicker. Now that the prep phase is done, it's time to go and kill the boss. I have a tab that has everything that I need to kill the boss. So the main food that I use is Karen Blondes because they have a faster cooldown than uh, the regular food, so that way, when I'm eating, I can get back to the fight as fast as I can. The best food. It'll make a dramatic difference over anything else. 
Anglers, I bring a few so I can combo eat in case I get hit down to 20. It can hit like 40, so you need to be able to combo eat sometimes to survive. My recoil on the suffering is on. I have Vengeance runes in my rune pouch as well. Those are important because I need to venge back as much damage as I can to speed up the kills. But anyways, it's time to go and kill the boss. So I lure the boss to the entrance. I go back in with my C Halley. I open up with that, try to dump the specs as soon as I can. The reason why I do that is because I can trigger the core a bit easier since I want to eliminate the core as fast as possible because the corp likes to move around a lot and I need it to stay where it is because my food is in one spot and I don't want to move around to pick up my food. I want to be like at the spot where the food is. So it's really important that I kill the core quickly. And I like to clean up core with a cannon because I have it set up so that the cannon will always hit the core and I don't have to waste any time attacking the core and the cannon can just kill it for me. So that's why everything is placed the way it is. And uh, typically, as the fight goes on, I want to be attacking in between corpse attack. So I'll have Piety on when I hit the boss, and I'll have Augury on when the boss hits me. Because Augury's magic defense helps a lot in reducing the damage I take from its. So that's how it goes usually. So whenever I get down to about 60 HP, I uh, eat two Karen Blondes and I put on my Kodai and my Ellie. And uh, that way I can tank some of the hits. I'm going to be on cooldown for a little bit. So it's best to have higher magic defense. And eventually the boss dies. And then I repeat the process over again. But yeah, if you do this really nice and you get it down, even with gear not as good as mine, you can still probably get like 7.5 kills an hour. And there's a bunch of other little uh, details that I'm not going to be able to explain because it'll take forever. But yeah, there, there is a lot going on, so uh, I guess re-watching the clips a few times will help you understand some of the other small nuances. So let me quickly go over why this setup for this strategy that I do. So when I spec down Corp, its magic stats stay the same. It has not been manipulated at all. So it's strong with its magic. So that's why this setup is important, because this magic defense is crucial. Armadale is crucial. Stuff like Suffering, crucial, because look at this, without these items, <laughs> I have no magic defense, and that means I get destroyed. So this is why I bring something like a Fury over something like a Torture, because look at this, the Fury just gives me 15 magic defense on top of only being 2 strength bonus less than a Torture. That's an amazing trade-off, you know what I mean? And same thing with Armadale, super amazing magic defense, but I do lose some accuracy, but again, the Corpse defense is zero. So having slightly less accuracy does not really matter. I'm always going to be hitting like almost 100% of the time. So yeah, this is why you want a really good balance of magic defense and good offense. So I got the best of both worlds with this setup. And also the reason why the LD and the Kodai is simple. That you know magic weapons give magic defense, as you can see. See? Oh my god! Alright, first master today. Oh my god, how do you keep getting these ropes, man? I keep getting them. Here we go. Please be something good. <gasps> no! This game sucks! This game actually <laughs> sucks! Oh my god, this game, bro! Are you joking? Hello? Four anguish kits? And 300 masters and nothing else? Bruh. Open it up. Oh, it's a mimic. Hell yeah. Okay, open this up. What is this? 500 blood runes. Oh shit, from that mimic. Worth. Oh my god, dude. I got another obsidian cape. Yes, PB. Let's go. Let's go, PB. This gotta be a PB. Alright, quick exit. And for time. Oh my god. Damn it, one second off. Are you kidding me, bro? Almost sub 7. Let's go. I'm happy with that. I like I like it. Such a clean number, honestly. Such a clean number. Oh, more Sanfu serums. Nice. We open the uh, chest one hundred times. What glitch? No, so sad. Fuck the flame scuffed again. Great, and the flames have disappeared. I can't see anything. Ah, that's so annoying, dude. I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, please, let me make it. 
Holy shit, I can't believe I actually did that. Even though I couldn't see the flames. Fucking hell, man. Holy shit. Now, nah, this is a PB, bro. <laughs> Yo, boys, sub 7. Let's get it. Man? Aw, oh, monkfish. Whatever. But this is what you call a good time. Oh my god, that's so good. 641. Hey, let's go. I don't think I'm going to get any faster than that. Oh my god, what was dude three yellow panels all in one all in a line. Are you kidding me, bro? A PB this late into the game, bro? I still somehow managed to PB even after I've done floor two over two hundred times. Holy crap. There's always room for improvement, dude. Always room. <gasps> oh let's go. I think I just got my twentieth armor seat. Hell yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and... Bye-bye.